When we met Bryce Easton, he was looking forward to the old Mutual Zimbabwe Open. The Zanaco Masters saw him earn some money from a modest performance, though he was seeing good signs. My game at the moment is, is, is a little bit frustrating. I feel like I'm really close to something quite good. Um, I've, I've been putting some, some work in and it all feels like it's right there. And, and I'm feeling pretty positive about where it's at. I think I had a, a decent end to last season and, and trying to build on that and get off to a good start. Bryce won twice on the Sunshine Tour in 2012. There have, of course, been some good results since, but it's been taking time to see the fruit of all his hard work. I think I'm, I'm really close to getting my golf swing down where I can trust that week in, week out. So that's one thing, but I mean, I think the area that we're always trying to get better at is just is wedges and then, you know, 120 yards and then that's where the guys score. And the guys that are competing that week or winning that week, they, they're giving themselves real chances from there and they're making them. So it's from there inside that's really what's, what wins golf tournaments. So that's an area that I need to be focusing on, especially having had a few weeks in, in England where the weather's been poor and I haven't been able to get that work and I felt like my putting's been a little bit out and you know I think it's just being out there competing that needs to get, get that vibe back with the putter. Being back in the warmth and sunshine helps enormously. But that's not to say he hasn't seen some benefit from the work done now that he's got a base in the UK. I had a month off. Um, I was back back home in, home in London, trying to get as much work in as I can, but the weather's been quite poor that side. So I've been doing a lot of good work on my golf swing. You know, the facilities and opportunities I've had to practice have limited me to a little bit more range work than I would have liked. So not as much wedge, wedges and short game and putting as, you know, as normal, but I've done a lot of a lot of work on my golf swing, um, trying to create some consistency and, and get a ball flight that is com you know, competitive and in a variety of uh, conditions, really. Plenty of practice, clearly, but time management is also playing a part. I've actually learned how to, or trying to learn how to sort of tap the brakes with that a little bit because I, I've, I think I've tended to always practice a little bit too much and, and end up a bit tired. But um, I, I enjoy, you know, if the facilities are good, I can, I can be on the range for a long time. I really enjoy hitting golf balls. And again, if the facilities are there, you can, you know, you can get lost out there and just spend hours practicing. So I wouldn't say there's one particular area. I just really enjoy the grind and, and trying to get better, trying to work it. You know, it's so competitive out here, the guys are really good and at every level they are, they continue to get better and better. So you need to be on your, on your game if you even think about competing, so it requires some work. Last year, Bryce stretched himself, trying his hand at nine events on Europe's second tier. 2017 proved a mixed bag. Last season was was a real roller coaster for me. I had I had lots going on. I mean, I got married in May and and we moved over to London. So with that and trying to play as much challenge tour as I can, it's just yeah, I had a lot of travel and just had a lot going on. So I was trying to play events and as whatever I can and and make something happen. So it was. It was an indifferent season because of all of that stuff. That doesn't really happen all that often. And even in January, I missed the SA Open. I actually went to final stage of Asian Tour Q School. And so I tried to play a lot of those events and left myself a bit under pressure coming in the last few events. So it was, it was a tough season, but um, you know, I, I'm always trying to push for the next level, the next get better and, and travel and play and you know, get overseas. So I would probably do the same again. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And he's hoping his new environment helps in his development. It's obviously very different. The weather aside, it's a really cool place. So I am enjoying it. I'm obviously enjoying being there, creating a home with, with my wife. So that's cool. And, and we are living in Putney at the moment, which is you know just south of the Thames. And um, I'm playing out of Burhill. I joined Burhill Golf Club, which is just down in, in Surrey, but about half an hour away. Um, yeah, getting, getting my work in there. I've also been playing quite a bit at Royal Mid Surrey. Um, there's a few guys that have you know invited me out to play there a few times, which has been great. So I'm, I'm finding my feet there and, and meeting some more people and getting out and playing golf with a bunch, you know, some new guys. Uh, last year I was pretty much on my own trying to figure it out and, you know, Norman no mates out there. But uh, so all that stuff's coming together and it's starting to feel a little bit more settled down and a little bit more back to the norm, which I think is, is important for me to then focus solely back on, on my golf.
So I, I am enjoying it. I think uh, the world's a very small place these days and I, I think if you get opportunities to go and live and experience other places, I think you need to try and grab them. And for the well-traveled 30-year-old from Durban who spent his college years in Texas, the passport was out for the African swing and aiming to grab whatever chances would come his way. <laughs>